very popular and simple but deadly nymph. This nymph can be probably found in 99% of most anglers fly boxes. It's a silver beaded black black nymph with a red ass and a silver rib. Quite simple, very very effective, can be tied in a multitude of sizes and um, as I say very very popular. So to begin I have a size 16 Duhaku jig hook in the vise and I have a 3.5 mil slotted tungsten bead on it. Now for my tail I'm going to use cocktail on and I'm going to tie that in with Tommy Fly UV reflective tying thread. A couple of strands nice dark cocktail on hold up on top just pinch and pull in and just the right length At least. And what I'm going to do now with the Tommy Fly Thread is I'm just going to create that little hot spot at the butt of the fly. A lot of guys use Globe Right number 4 or 5, and I do as well, but over the last couple of seasons I've found this Tommy Fly Thread, UV Reflective Thread, to be absolutely outstanding for its intensity um, the sharpness and the colour is just far superior I think to, to glow bright and it's a uh, finer finer floss now for the main body it's usually black so I'm just going to tie in my black thread take away the waste I think I first discovered this fly back in the world championships in Slovenia and ever since then it's been a a constant fly that's on me. I think a bit of silver silver wire. I'm gonna add in there. When I'm tying in the, the wires, I like to tend to tie them the full length of the body, keeps the body nice and smooth and saves any ridges or bumps there. So now I'm just going to take that wire, wind it up the body, four or five nice even turns, and just tie it off there. So you can tie this fly anything from a size 22 right up to a 4 mil. Have a good range of them in your box because they're absolutely the bread and butter of, of nymph fishing at the moment really and have been for the last couple of years. So to finish off the fly, mostly people use a piece of peacock spectre rubber and it can be quite effective but I like to add in one extra little twist. I take some marabou, some of the longer strands, take about three or four. I'm just going to tie them in there with the both sections. Take away that piece of waste. And I'm just going to wind them just up there to it. Really creating a nice soft hackle. Just bring your thread lightly through them. Screw in place. Don't need to be cut, it can be just plucked off. A little bit of a brush just to get those. Hackles standing out. And now I'll take my peacock spectre dubbin, take a small pinch, get it nice and tight, and I'm just going to put it in there behind the hackle. Rip finish. There we go. And always brush forward to root out the dubbins, and then you can put it back in place simply. Pluck out some of the longer strands.
there we have it. Very simple, but very deadly. Thanks for watching.